when the pineapples arrive in the UK, we have to do some quality checks as well. So the sort of things that we're looking at, we'll be testing the sugars on a device called a refractometer. We'll be tasting the pineapples and we'll also be looking at the colour and condition of the pineapples. Fantastic. Well, I know that this all takes place in a very special room. So we, right. can we take a look? Yeah, yeah, let's have a look. Great, let's go. Wow, lots of pineapples in here. <laughs> yeah, let me just explain where we are. So this is our shelf life room. Mm -hmm. So every time we send some pineapples to the stores, we keep back a sample to monitor the shelf life um, and the freshness of the fruit to make sure that it's keeping okay. Great, okay, so that's, what, that's these what these pineapples are doing here. Exactly, exactly. Okay, yep. so how often would you test the pineapples? Um, so these ones here, every, every delivery that we send, we take, um, we take a sample. But as well, what I also wanted to show you is this is where we test the sugars. So we use this device, it's called a refractometer. Now I think it was mentioned in the video earlier, but it was a slightly different looking one. There's two types of refractometer. There's one which looks a little bit like a telescope, which you look down. And this is a more modern one. So this one has a digital display and very simple to use. So I'll just show you how we use this. Great, yeah. yes, please. Okay, so we take a section out of the pineapple. Yeah. It has to be in the middle of the pineapple because the sugars will be different up and down the pineapple. Okay. This is the sweetest part here. So we take it from the middle. And that is that kind of the average of the sweetness yeah, of the pineapple? Yeah, yeah. you've got to take be? it from somewhere. So yes. that's the most representative point to take it from. Okay, lovely. Yeah, then we squeeze in some juice. Yeah. Press this button and it should give us a reading. And so what are we looking for here, uh, Nick, for in the reading? Okay, so we're looking for a certain level of sugar reading. Um, okay, so there, it says 11.5. 11.5, I've seen higher readings, but that's just about okay. Maybe if you'd like to just taste it, well, yeah. see what you think. 11.5 tastes I'm, like. I'm yeah. wondering whether you can trust the machine and whether, you know, good old human tasting is... <laughs> <laughs> that is very sweet and juicy. That yep. is so nice. Very, very nice yep. indeed. That's yep. lovely. Yep. So you do that for ev like a, a pineapple in every batch just to make yeah. sure that yeah. it's so sweet. So in the shipping container, you'll have 21 pallets of pineapples. We have to test every pallet um, and we take sort of some samples from each one. Obviously we can't test every pineapple yep. because it, as you can see, it's destructive testing. So we take a few samples um, from every pallet and if the sugars are okay, then potentially it's a batch that we can use for supply to stores. Right. But this should just be double checking as well because as you saw in the video earlier, also at source, they're doing the same tests. They're checking the BRICS readings there. So it should be okay. Yeah. So it's very unlikely you're going to have one that isn't sweet enough. Exactly. <laughs>